Hey everybody, welcome back. Fairville, palindrome syndrome. <clears throat> the voice is already getting, the voice is already starting to freaking crack, dude. Last episode, um, I redeemed myself from the nightmare that was the office. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And uh, you know what? We solved puzzles that I didn't even know were puzzles in an order that didn't make sense. But at the same time, your boy did it. We did get the vaccine for the palindrome syndrome itself, which leads me to believe that, yes, we will in fact be going into the infirmary. Okay. Since the beginning of this, this uh, playthrough, I've been a little bit concerned about stepping in here because I got no idea what's waiting. But hopefully it's nothing too bad. So, as with everything... Oh, sweet God, dude. Okay, okay. As with everything... You gotta first do a clean sweep around the area. Put the medicine here. Oh, dude, I know how to do this one. This one's easy. Put the... I don't know the medicine? I picked up the, the, the tube, dude. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. We can find more medicine. This one also looks... Okay, there's something missing. Fair enough. I was gonna say, that one also looks pretty relatively easy to figure out. Just get, gain an understanding of your, uh, your surroundings. Osteology, huh? That's the study of bones, I believe. A, B, B, E, C, F. Yes, the famous bone. The F bone. The F bone's connected to the C bone. What are you? See, I don't know. It's spray painted. Somebody spray painted this with stencil. Somebody stood here with the stencil for every single number and spray painted this. A, F, C, E, D. We're missing, we're missing bone cards, dude. Okay. What about in here? There's a dial in there, so we're going to have to try and find a way to get into here. P-Q-R-S-T. P-Q-R-S-T. This is one that we could actually interact with. Oh, dude, why is it always a puzzle that has, like, multiple segments in it, dude? Okay, well, they're all erect right now, so you know what? Let's just leave them there. All right, let's try looking at the, the nightmare wall over here. Dosage. All right, dosage. C-A-B-C. So we could, we could assume that this is B. Oh, I could pick them up and I could pop them in. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, so really, you can't be moved. So you're B, which means that we could we could work out that the rest of the red ones also have to be a B dosage. I think that's fair enough to to, to suss out. Okay. So now, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right. Well, I mean, this is a relatively easy one then, huh? There's only three yellow, so yellow dosage has to be the D dosage. There's a hidden yellow back there. There's a hidden yellow back there, dude. Okay, I take it back then. I take it back. Yellow dosage is not the D the, the, the dosage. You know what is the D dosage? The green, dude. And if, if there's one color that makes me think of vitamin D, it's it's the pure dosage of green, dude. Okay, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about everything, huh? I, I still think that this is right. I still do think that the yellow dosage is going to be the A dosage. If I could just get, you know, it doesn't matter. Just, just pop in a pop in a nice C right there. Pop in a nice C, and then you could get the A. Okay. I'm not a, I'm not a biotechnician. I don't know a lot about. Uh, I didn't mean to put you there, but it, because of the angle, I thought that you were empty. That's fine, dude. I'm not a biotechnician, but I will say one of the many things that I am good at it is uh, putting cylindrical things into slots. I've been doing it since I was a child, ever since my father brought home the, that weird pegboard with a whole bunch of different shapes. He was trying to throw me for a loop, I'll tell you that much, but he never did. I'd like to take the R brain, please. I'd like to take the R brain, please. Is this something I, I can't take? Oh, you have to walk far away from it in order to take it out. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, good stuff. Okay, we got the X. We got the X-ray. We got the X-ray. We're at the Taco Bell. I'm at the combination Taco Bell and X-Ray. It's a slidey puzzle. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, like, I'll be honest with you. Have I ever been good at these? Historically, no. Historically, no. However, that does look pretty promising. Oh, dude, I think I know what has to be done. The qu I know what has to be done. The question is, can I figure it out? This is a true question. Okay, I do think that you need to be here. And look at that. It, it sets. Okay. I also think that maybe we don't even need to solve this puzzle. We might only just have to, like, deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, but maybe not, huh? How? I, I hate these puzzles with a burning passion. Exclusively because I am bad at them. I will admit that. 
Never mind. I, your boy's actually a genius. Okay. P R Q S T. Well, actually, it would be P Q R S T. P Q R S T. P Q R S T. Oh, dude, but hold on. It, depending on where they are, depending on how high up or down they have to go. Okay, so you're like a mid boy. So P and T are mid boys. Okay. P and T are mid boys. That's an easy one. P. T, mid boys, okay? And then I believe that Q and S are just all the way down, brother. Q and S, all the way down. Send you to the shadow realm. Send you to the shadow realm. Look at that. Perfect. Open up the open up the safe. Those females, dogs, got a lot to say. Can't say anything else than that. We got a lever A. My favorite type of lever. <laughs> My favorite type of lever. The lever A. I didn't even see this. A plus C plus 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 G plus I. Don't give me a, a freaking number hidden as math question, okay? God, man. Put the medicine here. Well, you know what? We're working towards that. So we have a lever. We still haven't figured out this one. We still haven't figured out. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm not even gonna like look at this. Like that. That's just like that's like future Faribault's issue, and he could deal with it. Yo, I think I know where the lever goes, but we need one more, dude. We need one more, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Something's missing. Yeah, I know, dude. I, I I wake up every day with a freaking text box above my head that says something's missing. All right. A plus G. Well, I mean, also, it's like... They would... What do you... One, two, three, four, five. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. S-W-A-E plus... I have no idea what I'm even looking at. Like, let's, let's just say for argument's sake, and by the way, if, if this is going to be like an alphanumeric thing where like A is 1, C is 3, um, get ready because I'm going to have to sing the alphabet for every single one of these because like, I don't know what G is. We're, we're just, oh wait, no, it falls right here. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So is it 1? But see, this doesn't make sense, dude. 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus whatever I is plus whatever M is plus whatever Q is. Or is it like, I, I think I get it. I think I get it. Because it's one, two, three, four. No, but it's four rows and you need five letters, dude. Oh, man. Just look. If you're going to make a... Oh, you're missing, dude. I would have really liked for you to not be missing so I could get that. Oh, dude, these are multicolored. One, two, three, four. And then red doesn't have a number on it. It doesn't really answer to my question. Also, if you're going to make a, an escape room game in the year 2020, can you, like, not do any math? Yo! Yo! Now, the issue I have is I do not know what position is first position. Let's assume this is first position. So, you would be red. Three is orange. Beautiful. And then green, dude. This doesn't look correct. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, like, this seems right. The main issue is that I don't know what is first position on this. Like, I don't know what combination of colors it's reading. If it's going to be like, let's just assume it's the last one. How about that? And then we'll go from there. So you'll be blue. Oh, dude, this is, I don't know, man. And then you'll be orange, which it is. And then you'll be green. Which apparently that's how it is. You know, sometimes you just gotta you just gotta work it out in your head like a big boy brain. What happened? What have what have I what have I acquiesced? I heard something come out of something, dude, but I wasn't paying attention. I was like Alf in friggin' Neverland, dude. Alright, you're an MR you're an MRI machine, which means that you must be connected to the thigh bone. I was really hoping that you would print out another bone card, but that doesn't even make sense now that I think about it. What, what, what did my MRI produce, dude? It's not you. I can't get into the urine samples. Thank God. It's gotta, it's gotta be something. There's gotta be something. Okay, you cannot... Oh, dude, it's in the wall, of course. That's the first place I would have thought to look. Oh, my God, dude, it's a cipher. A, B, C... I, I actually do know how to read this cipher. It's a very basic boy cipher. Um, I will say that I got no idea 
where to use it though. So for example, to prove that I am not, oh, I can't actually interact with this. So to prove that I'm not a complete idiot, I know how to read this. So A would be represented as like these two lines here. B would be almost a box. E would be a whole box. N would be a box with a dot in it. W would be like this V with like a dot at the bottom, right? So like, that's how you would read the cipher. Now, the issue that I have is that I got no idea where I'm supposed to apply this knowledge. And also, because I'm smart, I wouldn't even need the cipher because I'm just a genius. Also, who the hell prints out a cipher from an MRI CAT scan, dude? Those are two different things, whatever. Hello, Bone Boy. A, B, D, E, C, F. Oh, dude, wait, maybe the osteology, you need the cipher. You need the cipher for the osteology, dude. But I'm missing a card, I'm missing a card. So I, I dislike how you're the only puzzle that I haven't, that, that I think we could potentially figure out if I'm just, you know, start being smart. With that being said, I don't want to do it. So because I don't want to do it, I'm instead going to do one more sweep around the room. And then from there, we'll decide if I actually have to figure this out or not. You know, I was expecting the infirmary to be like a little bit more spicy than this. I, I'm not going to lie, but at the same time, you know, I, I, I like Abraham Lincoln and Clone High. I cannot tell a lie unless it's to Joan of Arc, in which case and I will lie throughout the entire season. And then we'll be met with an inevitable end that will leave many fans upset. Some people, you know, a little blue bald, if, if I may be so bold as to say. All right, we got to figure this nightmare out. A plus C plus G plus I plus M plus Q plus S plus W plus A plus E equals five random numbers. I, I think I'm getting thrown off by like the three pluses. A? But like, the cipher doesn't make any sense here. See, that's the issue. The cipher doesn't make any sense here, which means that the cipher is probably not going to be used for this specific area or this specific puzzle. I got nothing in the diary either, dude. Yeah, I'm so mad. We were doing so well up until this point. Okay. Okay, okay. Just just, just recap what you need. You need to get this lever. And in order to do that, you need to solve this puzzle. In order to solve this puzzle, you need to find one more bone card. Okay, in order to get the, the information that you need for the bone card, you need to use this osteology poster in order to ascertain that apparently the friggin' elbow is an A value. What are we missing? <clears throat> We have the calves, we have the hand, the back, the foot, the arm. I was going to say we're missing the spine, but I guess that's what a back is. Huh? Yo, but there's two spines, dude. I'll be honest with you. I, I, look, despite being a kinesiology student, I haven't, and then dropping out and becoming an artist, I haven't, uh, I don't remember what's the lower vertebrae and what's the high. I believe that B is the lower vertebrae. So we need like the top back. You know, the, that, that scientific term known as top back. Yeah, so E is like, man, that's like that's like a, a gold bond medicine advert there. He's, he's holding his lower back because he's in great physical pain. Because he's a simp who doesn't learn how to... He never practiced proper sitting technique. All right, let's just solve this. Speaking of proper sitting technique, let me just, let me just adjust. There you go. Hold on, let me just, let me just adjust. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There you go. Okay, okay, lumbar has been corrected. A plus C G. So let's let's just let's look them up. But then we're missing a letter, dude. We're missing a number. We're missing a boy. C G I M Q. I mean, like even like the letter, the order that they're appearing might be a hint as well, right? So we could say that A is just A, right? Like A would be A. So the first one is A. C would be three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it would be J. I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine plus 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 22 plus Q. Oh my God, dude. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. What did I say? 22? That's 30. That is the 30. 26. 27. 28. 29. 30. This is, there's no way this is right. There's no way this is right. Maybe I'm, I could be overthinking it as well, right? Like C plus G 
Am I overthinking it? S W A E. Sway. Sway, dude. Am I overthinking this? C plus G. 3 plus 7. But is it like... Like, is it just numeric values? But then you get more than 26, which means you might have to loop around. But like, dude, I got no idea. It's a, go, come on, dude. You gotta give me like some sort of bread trail here in, in order to follow. You're all locked, huh? That sucks. We need you. I know, I know, I know how this is gonna play out, right? We're gonna solve this nightmare, and then that's gonna open up this freaking box here, which is gonna have, like, a card in it that we take over here, solve that puzzle, get the lever, and then you go over here into, like, where they probably keep the corpses. I, I genuinely, I, I just do not know what to do here. They gave me a cipher, but a cipher doesn't mean anything to me. <clears throat> Maybe you need to make a word? Like, maybe you need to make a word from these. Maybe it's not a math question. It's more of a ling linguistics, <laughs> linguistics, linguistics, linguistics question. That's it. Because, like, maybe it's, like, one letter from each row. But, no, but then you're, you still need one more. So, like. See, the problem is that, like, this plus. A plus CG plus IMQ plus SWAE plus the final answer so like how can it be added up i mean can you even make a word out of this i don't think you can dude oh but hold on i was gonna say maybe you have to look at it like like a family tree like a planet square dude which isn't how it works but like a plus c plus i plus s equals that a plus C plus M plus W equals that. A plus G plus Q plus A equals... No, that, 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 like, honestly, the more I explain that, the worse it is. I, I don't know. You know what? I have too much respect for my time. I'm gonna look this one up. <coughs> I, look, my phone is not responding to my hand because I've, I've recently put lotion on it, and by recently, I mean at the beginning of the day. Okay, hold on. Palindrome syndrome... Escape Room Official Guide by Game Pretty. Thank you, Game Pretty, for uh, helping people who are stupid, such as myself. But if you could stop giving me 14,000 ads for the new 007 game, I'd really appreciate that, too. I mean, I'm glad that it's on the Switch, but at the same time, like, I just want to say, I gotta scroll so far. Alright, something changes between each character and each, and between each line break. There's a symbol near the character... There's, I, I, I'm going to read the explanation, because I don't get it. There's a symbol near the character that looks like a plus sign. Solution. G-K-O-S-W. Something changes between each character and between each line break? What do you mean something changes between each character? They're different characters. All right, well, here's the answer. You want, What a great answer. G-K? I... I No, I, I, I really don't know how I would have figured this out. Like, I'm looking at it now. I'm trying to work out, like, how is this possible? But, like, I don't know. G-K-O-S-W. Where's my S? Where's my S, dude? It's one of those where it's not in the alphabet where you think it is. Of course, the, the, the classical answer of G-K-O-S-W. I mean, like, to be fair, I was technically wrong about the order in which things are going to happen. We did get the friggin' osteoporosis card, so that's great, too. Okay, look, whatever, man. I'm not going to sit here and solve stuff. Oh, you just gave me the lever? Like, just for free? Oh. Alright, well, screw you, dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and, and solve a puzzle if I don't have to. Alright, you guys go in there. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to. I forgot that this is... Oh, wait, but it might just be one of these. Yeah, it's just another one of these friggin' sliding puzzles that are incredibly easy to solve. Thank God. Okay, well... Dude, I'm feeling like this series has humbled me. You know, oh, dude, there's the vaccine, but you need like a 12,000 digit number. Are you seriously? All right, we'll figure this out. We got this. Another computer. I will say this series has, in fact, very much humbled me. Yo, it's the cipher, dude. She died yesterday. It's my fault. The code for the last drug sample. I thought that I had found the cure. Our... Uh, efforts have been for nothing. Margaret died yesterday. Everything went wrong. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. 
Dr. John Reynolds, Captain. Dude, this is why you give this stuff to Riker. Alright. So E with so that's M. Is is the password Margaret? This man needs so much better security. Fellas, never put your cybersecurity in the name of a former lover. It is Margaret. It's Margaret, dude. Wait, dude. You know, like, you build up the cipher, at least, like, make it interesting. This man's simping hard, dude. Alright, give me the vaccine. Hello. I'd like to take the, the blue liquid, please. Palindrome syndrome medicine, dude. I mean, like, if it doesn't work, then what's the point? Unless he also has palindrome syndrome, in which case, oh, dude, we've been, we've been, like, looking at this a whole different way. Put the medicine here. Thank you for writing that in the strawberry jam. I appreciate it. Pop that bad boy in there. You killed her! Oh, no. You killed her. It's your fault. You Dude, it's not my fault. There's like 14 different ways this thing could develop, dude. It's all my fault. Margaret died because of me. Accept your punishment? Aw, oh, dude. You killed her. Yo, this game's getting spicy. Accept your punishment. Yo, it's your fault. It's your fault. Oh my, it's like living through high school again. Who killed Margaret? I don't know, dude. Who killed Margaret? Uh, Naj? Naj killed Margaret, dude. You designed your own punishment. Forget and struggle that you killed her over and over again. As long as you live, you will feel the pain of remembering that you killed her. It's a loop, dude. You know what you have to do. Go back to sleep. This ends where it started. This man cryogenically freezes himself, giving himself medically induced amnesia so that he could forget that he killed Margaret, only to discover that he, in fact, did kill Margaret? It's an eternal love story. It's a story of Sisyphus, dude. Yo, is Margaret in there? Mar Mar Margaret's in the other tube! Dude. <laughs> you know what? I gotta say. I wasn't expecting that ending. I mean, you know, I wasn't expecting a happy ending, but I wasn't expecting that ending. Hey, that's palindrome syndrome. I only had to look up like three of the puzzles. If you liked the episode, hit the like button. It does help me out, of course. Huge shout out to the developers for giving me a copy of the game so that I could play it and, and you know, prove that I am, in fact, once again, an idiot. And if you want to see more of my content in the future, hit the subscribe button. Join the Fatron. My name is Farewell. Thank you for watching. This is Palindrome Syndrome. See ya!